just ride with me ride with me see how this thing goes if it's meant to be it'll be hey i ain't gonna lie man sometimes i'll be saying that thing and it hey guys it's me lj i got a message for everybody we cannot see what it's called it's a secret make sure you like the video and subscribe for more great content for my daddy and youtube good afternoon out there 2k lab man check this out man y'all already know y'all doing y'all thug fizzle on that thing right there number five video 4.2 thousand views 540 likes man y'all going hamburger on the likes if y'all keep doing that part man everything else is gonna fall into place man not only are you is all we gonna get our thing going to the moon but look, y'all gonna end up here on the Noted Gang Wall of Fame right now with my boy Jay Nail Jam Stars. Hey man, he said I don't think I don't think one has sound. I don't know what you mean, man. Hey, maybe it was in the beginning or something like that, man. I don't know, man. Hey, he said, Noty, if you need the sound, you gotta fast forward. Hey, bro, I don't know what was going on with that one. Hey, I apologize for that. Whatever was happening there, top comment from it, man. He just says, Hey, I definitely see the differences in my shot timings, but the key for me is the muscle is muscle memory um with my cue yes that's exactly what i mean you gotta have muscle memory with the cue i know where the cue is i recognize which shot i'm going to get and i apply the correct muscle memory to it but you're gonna need three muscle memories for this one he said haven't shot well at all this year but slowly creeping up to 50 with locking in on my cue man and that's exactly what you got to do in this game man because i'm telling you you cannot shoot the basketball with uh, just muscle memory like, you, like you've been able to do in previous 2Ks. We're gonna talk about all of it in one second, man, but before we get started, make sure y'all like the video, comment y'all thoughts down below. We gotta get to 200 likes before we get to 1,500 views, maybe even 300. We are trying to get to 1,000 likes today. I feel like we are gonna do it. I know we are gonna do it, cause we got an awesome show for y'all today, even though we're a little bit late, but let's just get right into it, man. That boy, Brother Jones, man, that boy, Brother Jones says, hey, what's the more toxic game mode in 2K24? no squad wreck or no squad randoms and i'm not gonna lie to y'all man let me tell you the no squad wreck is much more toxic in my opinion because it lasts so long and people are in there just you waiting 30 you going up in there waiting 30 minutes to lose sometime bro somebody said no squad no squad wreck and then what you say no squad wreck because the game is longer and a lot of times they have absolutely no idea what they're doing because sometimes one team will organize the other team will not and hey it'll just be what it's gonna be if, if it's meant to be it'll be who baby baby it's meant to be it, it is what it is so just ride with me ride with me see how this thing goes if it's meant to be it'll be hey i ain't gonna lie man sometimes i'll be saying that thing and it's like baby it's meant to be it is what it is up next like speaking it's meant to be that my boy see it man he's talking hey, that's too close to the source material we got to stop doing that hey my boy see says i think maluba just need to lead just needs to stick uh, to his creation and let us learn it. I agree with that. Uh, we have complained as a community about every about every step of this game, about the, uh, yeah, about every step of this game, and we will eventually learn it. Uh, then he patches it, and uh, when we learn it, just uh, just learn the game. Okay, okay, so he says we they'll, they'll, we learn it, they patch it, and then just then we got to just relearn it. So he says just learn the game and don't complain. So he stops patching it. Uh, what we learned. That's what he's saying, man. He's just saying, listen, man, a lot of times when you're playing the game, like, like it's better to just learn what's there and deal with what's there than, for, than to beg for a patch. Then they put the patch out. Now we got to learn exactly, you know, learn what this whole patch is about and what, what is his vision? What's supposed to be happening here? Like, what is going on in this whole game, man? So it is what it is. I asked some people to send me the stuff out there yesterday, man. My boy, All City Big Heck, I hit the wrong button. All City Big Heck, he came up, he came through, man. And uh, he just says, to, R <laughs> to RNG, not to RNG. That is the question. And this is something that Mike was talking about, man. He just says, uh, this is really, he's talking about the two ways that he can play the game. This is really what it boils down to. If anyone has any ideas for a better option, there's two I'd love to hear. I mean, he just says, keep the green windows, no RNG, uh, which means for the sake of balance, the green windows have to be pretty small like they are now uh, so that good players don't shoot 80 to 90% from three. And he said, this makes shooting very difficult for the casual and what we're dealing with now. So that's what he's saying, what we're going through now, man. The, what we're going through now is the, uh, the casual players are getting punished and it's very brutal on them because 
uh, it, they, it's, it's something that they're, that they're having a, a big issue with adapting to. Or we can go back to the bigger green windows that are easier for people to hit, but cap the excellent timing boost, uh, but cap the excellent timing boost, and then reintroduce RNG. To keep the game balanced, this is how 2K shooting has basically worked for the past 20 years. So what he's saying is like, you know, you can shoot excellent, 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 right? But the RNG element is like, you know, when you shoot, you shoot too many shots and then you're gonna, you're gonna shoot a full white and you're gonna miss. That's because you can't hit all of the shots. And that's where he's saying he was using RNG in order to keep the keep the percentages to something not necessarily realistic, but just to keep them something that, that's that's respectable or something that's real. I'm gonna tell you like this, man. I'm not bad at how the shot percentage and stuff go. My thing has always been because they changed it a little bit at the beginning of 2K17, and then, you know, they changed it, and then 18 was fine, all that good stuff. But I remember at the beginning of 2K17, a lot of people couldn't shoot. When it got badges, not everybody could shoot. It's one of the easiest shooting 2Ks of all time. I just feel like this. Whatever you do, just let us stick to it. Let us learn it. And then we go from there. But then a lot of times we say that we're not making the game for the casual in mind when we already know that you have to make games for the casual in mind because if you don't, nobody's gonna be on here playing. Ain't nobody, bro. It's dudes out here shooting zero for 0 for 5, 0 for 6. Like it's just insane the stuff that you see out here in the, in the uh, random land. Hey, uh, Delay says about time they admitted it getting, getting penalized for being top tier i pass hey he's absolutely right he says no way they're going out no no way they're going out their way to make good players bad at the game <laughs> bad at the game uh to match skill level for bombs f this game and whoever who wait hey, well, listen man i ain't got a lot of y'all man and this is just what he was saying like like we already know what's going on and we understand what's gonna happen if the, they see the data they know what people are shooting they know that a lot of times people are are like having trouble with the game. And if people have too much trouble with the game, especially these, they see me, I keep playing the game because I'm interested in, I like a challenge. I like to continue to fight something and see if I can get better, 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 better. If I cannot get better, then, you know, you cap out, you just keep, I, I like a challenge. That's why I think I like this game because shooting has been a challenge for me. And it's something that I, it's been like a dice, not a dice game, bro, I was throwing the hood. It's like a chess game where I can, I have to figure it out. They do something, then I figure it out again. Then they do something. As long as we're able to figure it out, I don't have a big issue with it. That boy, Black Cobra says, definitely option one. Uh, once you learn to look for the animation as opposed to relying on muscle memory, they'll adjust. I had to get out of that habit myself. Not only did I have to get out of that habit, but I had to say, you have to watch the animation prior to even catching the ball. That's something that you gotta do. And that's something that I've been doing uh, for, for, for forever, man. But uh, he also said some other stuff, man. So like we, we had, we already said that and then, uh, so he said a couple more things and he just said, listen, he said, we do not tune to, some people said that they accused him of not rocking with the casuals and just tuning the game for the top five. He said, we do not tune the game for the top 5%, but we do need to consider them. We regularly analyze shooting telemetry across all users and modes. And despite what some think, that stat, uh, the stats are pretty close to the desired targets. Play down online was definitely trending too high, about 47%. They said they wanted us to be around 40, which is why I which is why it was adjusted today. But the other competitive online modes are very close, maybe around three to five percent lower uh than I'd like for them to be. So what he's saying is like, listen, man, we 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 don't tune the game for the top five percent, but we gotta keep them in mind because you don't wanna ever play against somebody that never, ever, ever misses. If you played against me, T and some and Nino in the past two Ks, you probably saw people we we hardly ever miss. It's like you're talking about 70 some odd percent in 2K22. Everybody was shooting in that one. And then now all of a sudden, you know, it's an issue. I don't think anybody had a problem with 2K22 shooting, but then we wanted to go uh, green or miss. And so, like I said, man, a lot of people, now that we green or miss, I don't think they cared about the green or miss. They just cared about them changing the shooting model entirely. Originally, it was green or miss, but it was the RNG was at the top of the shot. So like whether it was gonna turn green or not, you had a make window and you had a green window. As long as the bar landed within the, the make window, you had a chance to make it. The closer you were to the center of the make window, which was where the green window was, the more chance you had to hit it. And if you were further away, you had a chance to miss. I had mastered the fact that I could just hit all the whites anyway, so it didn't even matter. Like it, it just was what it was. He also says, it sounds simple, but we've tested internally with, uh, with even marginally larger windows and our best players literally 
literally could not miss. So they just made the windows a little bit larger with the pure green and nobody's missing. Even watch Twitch streams, it's easy to see that there's always at least a couple of players who are shooting 70% or higher from three in most games. If we lower the shot making, uh, the shot timing skill cap to accommodate more people, the game will quickly turn into NBA Jam for our higher end users. That's a fact, we're gonna rely on shooting. I mean, I'm already shooting like that. I'm shooting lights out right now. So if you make that window greener and it's pure, Bro, bro you, you, you can cancel Christmas on that. And they're going to take away the slow, the slow down and speed up associated with people being there. Bro, that's crazy. The safest thing to do is to keep opening up the uh, opening up the uh, wide open window since players, since good players are pretty much automatic on those shots anyway. The game will start to feel like uh, 2K22 if we push that too far, though. And so that's what we're saying. 2K22, you literally couldn't miss. Now, I definitely understood what he was saying about another thing. What he was saying, uh, I believe what he has said in, in cold stream is that they have already implemented where the shot the shot speed up associated with a player being in the area or you know having a contested shot they've eliminated that so we're gonna see how that goes and see if that makes it i could definitely see how that could be a thing because bro we got some stuff out here where people bro when i'm telling you that some people were were taking shots and not like I think the biggest issue is this: the game don't know when you're open or when you're not. Like that's that's just all to it. A lot of times, it, it just doesn't. And I'm gonna show you what I mean when I'm saying that right here because we got this from J. Bridge for, and he says a 40 some odd percent contest on this one right here, bro. Like that is insane. Like where's the where where is he? It said 41 percent covered. That's all that I need to know as far as now that doesn't even out sometimes yeah but bro this can't even happen once if i see this happen once i'm telling myself bro where's the contest and the game thought that that was contested to me that's probably the reason for the speed ups and the slowdowns that are just random in the game and some people said that you know that mike was thinking that the only thing that happened was was speed ups when um when you get contested it's like nah bro like look at this bro Look at that, 41%. 41%? He was thinking that only speed ups happen when you are, uh, and we was like, nah, they show spots where it slows down and stuff like that. To me, if the game can't tell when we're open or not, then to me, that, that lets me know that uh, that's probably the reason for the speed up and slow down. Also, another thing that I was thinking about, and y'all just rock with me on this one. So he already just told us that he's tuning the game and actively tuning it as far as, as he's gonna tune the game actively for because he changed it in my team because it was at 47 percent he wanted to be around 40. so if he's actively tuning the game i just thought to myself you got the guys in the pro-am and you had guys in in uh wreck not wreck you had guys in pro-am and the guys in the stage they already gonna shoot astronomical numbers because they are the best ones at the game so they probably had numbers they, those numbers in the pro-am and wreck probably were like 80 percent in the beginning so i think that he's gonna crush the game modes and just change it so much to get those things down to to, to the 40 percent area and because of that because they were shooting from half court and doing all that in stage and shooting such high percentages i bet they were shooting such high percentages i bet people were shooting around 80 percent 70 percent the first day because i know i was shooting a crazy percentage and then he adjusted it he probably adjusted those the most because that's where he saw the highest percentages because that's where the best players the biggest sweats are and so because of that they're seeing the biggest fallout from it where nobody can shoot. But conversely, no, people just get, bro, you see one and two percenters, nine percent, 10 percent in the, in uh, play, not play now, but in, in the park and all this all the time. So these percentages are gonna naturally be where they are, but because you have a higher concentration of better players in the pro-am and in, uh, and in the, the uh, and in stage, that's probably why we saw the bigger numbers and they're gonna get a bigger penalty, bigger penalty uh, and it's gonna be harder for them to shoot because it's got to bring those numbers down And so maybe that's what the issue is with that That's just what I'm thinking because I saw see it play last night and I'm seeing him take the exact I'm seeing him play in 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 pro-am can't hit a shot the exact same shots He took in in pro-am. He was taking them in wreck, but there were more egregious shots That was like, like crazy. He got no business taking that shots in green. They ain't see it That's a quick step back with a dude in green like so so we know that it's an issue with pro-am 
and then like i said the, the the random speed ups and slowdowns you have some things that are associated not only with your with your stamina but also with the game not being able to tell if anybody was open or whatever now that boy Tysino, he came through he just said the permanent solution for to this uh to this problem would be to turn park into the main casual friendly mode where whites go in and where greens uh green windows are bigger so casuals can have fun and then then get rid of the stage and turn it into a ranked area uh, and ranked arena with elo uh you know that's that's the max making ranking elo rating points and uh full and full right but every time i saw i, I talk like i want to talk like tacino that's why be messing me up with with full rank system like every every other uh successful multiplayer game with rewards leaderboards titles and uh an addictive grind this ranked arena would would have no rng smaller green windows and would give competitive players their fixed at uh, their fix <laughs> outside of 5v5 too bad something like this something like this would never happen would probably never happen until 2k 25 and he's actually right about that bro like hey when y'all read tacino stuff do y'all really I, I i i gotta talk in this voice man i think that that could work but i think that people in the 2k community don't like competition as much as they claim that they do they want to be better than everybody else but the competition that's associated with that no i don't think anybody really wants that man it would be cool i mean i play it but you know uh i think that they have something like that with the with the rank pro am mode i mean with rank uh pro am three so I, I don't know man it is some type of matchmaking ranking and stuff in there but hey who knows and then the last but not least and this is one of my biggest things a lot of pro-am player oh this is what uh power says a lot of pro-am player guys got got you got you really thinking that nobody can shoot no no they're struggling against the best defensive of uh, the best defenders on the game on a harder shooting difficulty if you are struggling against park randoms in park you're just terrible it's not everybody it's just you and so more or less what he's trying to say man is is like that's what i was saying like a lot of people see the pro-am guys and the pros saying it's hard to shoot and so they pick it back and off of that and then they try to get it to be easier to shoot across the game but they i just wish that they would say look it's it's harder to shoot but only in pro-am because splashy said it himself the other day see i never heard him say it before but then when he said it yesterday i was like ah i get it because i'm like bro you better than i am and you said it's hard to shoot and then he said no nah. I never had no, when Mike said he opened up the green windows, he's like, I couldn't tell you until I go to Pro-Am. I never had no problem with shooting in Park, Rec, um, Pro-Am 3s, none of that. It's the Pro-Am 5s that I have issues with. And so, but but because they weren't specifying that, everybody was just piggybacking off of it saying, yo, we having trouble shooting and the pros having trouble shooting, so something's got to be done about it. So I'm glad that they, we got that delineation between the two because I don't want, that's what I didn't want. I'm like, yo, when they were saying it's hard to shoot, and nobody was specifying, yo, no, 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 it's, it's only in pro-am and in, and in stage in some cases. That's all I that's all I wanted to hear. But now that we know that, it can be addressed. And I think I know why, like I said, I believe the reason why is because their, their percentages were so high in the first place that Mike had to do something drastic to squash them down to 40%. And maybe he told the computer to, to close the green window and, and get it down to 40% or whatever. And the computer just did whatever it did to manifest that. And, uh, you know, you can, you can tell the computer what to do, but you can't tell it. You can't tell how it's going to manifest it. So maybe that's what it is, man. But y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section, man. Is shooting just too hard in general? Or do you think if they take away the speed up and slow down that's associated with with what's uh with the shot contest because we know the game can't tell if you're being contested or not we know that and we know that when they said that you can't you shouldn't be able to contest somebody from 1500 feet away we know that's do we know that's bs2 now so that's just what it is let me know what y'all think down in the comment section man and uh i will holler at y'all next time till next time hold on hold on y'all gotta see if we won. i know y'all want to see if we won this game but yeah i got we got to stop kicked it down and then he got on that rim oh rim rim on that rim for me i'm gonna let y'all next time till next time hit that like button let's get to uh let's get to 1500 likes today man i think y'all can do it and i'll let y'all next time till next time it's your boy jay easy aka fresh from the barbershop bk the people's champ Guys, please.